Whenever we talk about the concept of light, a lot of things run into mind. We talk about the intensity of light, we talk about the color temperature of light, we talk about the direction, we talk about the quality, and last but not least, we talk about the reflection. So we need to understand these concepts of light, which are quite essential for photographers who would want to create stunning and impactful images in the studio, outside the studio, wherever it is you find yourself. By mastering these concepts, photographers can manipulate light to achieve their desired effect and tell a story through their images. I built a set in my studio, I shot a behind the scenes. I want to use the concept of lighting to explain how I got these shots. So I used four lighting for this particular shoot, one in my 54 by 72 inch rectangular lax bank softbox, one in my beauty dish, and two in strip boxes. So the DP600 in the Lux Band Softbox, the AD600 in my beauty dish, and one AD100 behind the backdrop in a strip box, and the Godox VA60 Mark III in the other strip box on the right side of our model. I'm going to talk about intensity. Intensity refers to the amount of light that is present. In photography, intensity is probably measured using exposure, which is determined by the combination of aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. So if I have that and I know the kind of light or feel I want on my subject, I wanted to use both hair lighting, rim lighting, and layered lighting in my shoot. So the layered lighting came in here by using the beauty dish right in front of my lax bar softbox. The hair lighting was being done by hitting the strip box behind the backdrop onto my ceiling just so that I could get soft and even light on my subject. And on the head of my subject and on the right side you could probably see we have another strip box rimming my subject from the background the color temperature will probably refer to the color of the light light can change from red to blue depending on whatever it is you're shooting and taking a look at the set we build it also affects the kind of mood in the the kind of colors you're going to see on my images the direction of the lights will probably also be effective in here also so as you can see you can see the positioning of my light at, at some point i moved my beauty dish to the side of my subject and i shot opposite of it just to create another mode or dramatic effect from it the quality of the lights will probably refer to how soft or how hard the light will be so looking at this image the only hard source of light was coming in from a beauty dish a beauty dish represents both soft and hard light so it's it's a contrast between the two the big box was filling in my shadows just to give me a soft feel. Bouncing the hair lights or the backlights onto my ceiling was also to introduce a quality of a soft light onto the back or the head or the hair of my subject, which probably was covered with the hat. And using the strip box on my right side was to cut out my subject from the background. 